Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So exactly why you need smart shopping campaigns or just smart campaigns in general with Google Ads starting 2022 and onwards. Now this year so far has been an absolutely insane year from going to being basically confined in our homes to now being able to go outdoors and the changing buying ratio even, we have pretty much seen it all. And the same goes when it comes to actually running Google Ads campaigns because personally for a large portion of 2021, I have been personally testing around with a lot of different bidding strategies. I've tried out different campaign types. And after a lot of ad spend, a lot of analysis, I came to finally realize that there is one specific campaign type which is outperforming consistently for the past few months compared to the other campaign types. Now, this was a big shocker for me because previously I would not really have paid much attention to this campaign time, which is, of course, smart campaigns. But recently in the last portion of 2021, I've started to notice smart shopping campaigns start to really take off with their results, with their ROAS and so forth. So it seems to me that it is finally time to kind of move on from doing other kinds of campaigns to doing mostly smart campaigns. But it's not as easy as just starting a smart campaign and just waiting for results to come in. There's a lot of things you need to understand, which we'll be covering in this video. But let's just get right into it. First thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with smart campaigns, however, is to destroy that like button until it turns blue and subscribe if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos while clicking that bell notification. I post amazing videos just like these ones every single week. Okay, hopefully you have done all of those things. But exactly why smart campaigns in 2022 and onwards. Before we even talk about that, I want to take you guys over into some of my own ad accounts as well as my clients ad accounts to go over exactly the results we're seeing on my end when it comes to Google ad smart campaigns. By the way, when I say my clients accounts, I mean the clients under my Google as a marketing agency, Yoru Marketing. If you're doing over 30K per month in sales, just go ahead and go onto my website at yorumarketing.com and book a call to see if we can work together. But here is one of my students accounts actually with the same strategies I use on my clients account but this student account right here when I'm recording this video it's currently November 17th but so far within the last 14 days we're seeing that this account is doing a 25x ROAS with smart campaigns and these two right here which I have chosen are both smart campaigns this one right here is also a smart campaign but for an individual product but this one right over here is actually a manual CPC with an end CPC check kind of campaign but as you can see right here maximize conversion value T ROAS, these are the smart shopping campaigns going on right over here, both with absolutely insane results. One at 25x ROAS, the other one at 10x ROAS, and that too consistently because if we look at the last 30 days, we can see that this one right here at the top was 18.86 ROAS. So in the last 14 days, it actually increased this one too. It was at 8.79 ROAS. And there is nothing really crazy going on with, with this ad account as well. Moving on to another ad account. This is full on my client's ad account right over here. We're doing mostly smart shopping campaigns as well. As you can see, they're a high ticket store, but their average ROAS is a 19.41. This 94X ROAS is actually a branded search campaign, which I always talk about on my YouTube channel also in my Google Ads Mastery course, which you can get at gadsmastery.com. But again, smart shopping campaign outperforming everything else. Absolutely insane. And we're going to talk about exactly why smart shopping campaigns might be a better option right now in 2022 and onwards. But another ad account. So three ad accounts total. This is my own ad account right over here. As you can see, Smart Shopping Campaign running at a 4.61 ROAS. This is a brand new Smart Shopping Campaign I just released. This one right above, a branded search campaign. And the one above that is actually a PAC campaign. If you're not sure what PACs are, again, my YouTube channel or my Google as a mastery. But only two sales there, so not really big chunks of data we can look at. But nonetheless, for this Smart Shopping Campaign right over here, a 4.61 ROAS. So doing absolutely amazing and crushing it very, very profitable. But now that we looked over the results exactly, why do you need to to start using smart shopping campaigns and how do you go about doing it exactly before we can talk about that let's really get the fundamentals out of the which is the basis of data and the algorithm itself exactly why is this even happening why am i consistently seeing smart shopping campaigns outperform everything else out there even standard shopping campaigns so i personally believe this is a bigger change not just on the ad level side or the campaign side but 
on Google Ads as a whole, and that's simply because within the past few months, we have been seeing a lot of different changes going on with Google Ads that are driving Google Ads more towards database stuff and algorithm based stuff. For instance, I released a video in November of 2021, which talked about Google Ads performance max campaigns. The link should have popped up in the top right for you to check out. But that was also another new change Google brought in, which kind of helps you conduct more data based and algorithm based campaigns because Google Max performance campaigns is, is literally smart shopping campaigns on steroids because there's a lot of extra benefits that you get with a Google Ads performance max campaign. Same thing with the smart bidding improvements. Google has been consistently doing updates and changes to their algorithm, but some of the main ones include the smart bidding improvements, mainly done with the seasonality aspect of products so if you have a lot of products where it's basically seasonal products what happens now with google is it automatically adjusts your bids and the kinds of auctions that you win based on the seasonality attribute of that product so if it detects that there's overall decreasing search volume for a given product it's going to automatically start bidding less and less and start trying to win lesser amounts of auctions for you just so that you don't end up losing a lot of money because during that time period when it takes a dip downwards when the season ends there's a lot of search intent but very little buying intent so seasonality based improvements in addition attribution models one of the newest attribution models google actually added is that data driven model which i have personally been using i really don't recommend it but that's a story for another video so these are the database changes google ads has been consistently adding improving changing so google is taking its entire platform towards the data driven side towards the algorithm based side so how do you exactly cope with this and exactly what should be done before again talking about that we need to talk about the overall performance i have been seeing when it comes to overall shopping or even search so the reason why i don't recommend so much standard shopping campaigns anymore compared to smart shopping is because with standard shopping if you're using only standard shopping right now you're going to find yourself struggling to survive exactly what does this mean does this mean it is the end of standard shopping no that is far from the truth but that definitely means that you need to now have standard shopping as well as smart shopping in place in order to really get the best bang for your buck simply because if you have a general store and you run just standard shopping campaigns google is having much harder time really finding those winning products really finding those right bids for your products especially if you do something like maximize clicks which is again what i recommend so just having standard shopping is not really ideal in 2022 and onwards and there's a lot of other factors including just smart shopping campaigns or the database changes one of them includes increase in competition i don't know about you but personally i've had a lot of copycats come in and literally steal my entire descriptions steal my entire titles and little do they know that it is not so easy to find success with google ads plus they're risking getting their accounts banned by me because yes i do go after these copycats consistently and it really ruins the entire atmosphere for all the advertisers out there because if you think copying another store and finding success that way is the way to go with google ads then you should not be even doing business or drop shipping at all simply because it's not that easy and morally that is not correct thing to do but again you can't really deal with these people who have very low morals or don't even care and just want to earn money in any way shape or form but that is increasing the overall competition and the people that are doing it the right way, meaning writing original descriptions, finding original products and so forth. They are also coming into the market and increasing the competition. And this is all really causing a big change with standard shopping performance. In addition, seasonality, unexpected events like what we saw happen in 2020, all of these things take a big cause a big impact on standard shopping because a standard shopping campaign it's really going to work with the bid you supply to it it does not have its own brain it's going to find it difficult to really cope with these changes right over here so that's where really smart shopping campaigns come in and really take a large market share and really perform the best so when it comes to smart shopping campaigns here's what you need to understand for me personally i believe a smart shopping campaign is a campaign which brings profits on autopilot now again it is not as easy as just simply running it and then just letting it run in the background there's a lot of things you need to make sure that are in place you need to first have data with your ad account and if you're not really sure again how to do all of this and you are doing thirty thousand dollars or more in sales per month go on my website at yourroommarketing.com book a call with my team to see if i can personally run your ads for you but after you get to this level where you are able to run smart shopping campaigns profitably, you need to understand that this campaign type is fully automated. You have literally 
zero control over your bids you have zero control over your keywords so you need to supply the right kind of settings you need to supply the right kind of products to these smart shopping campaigns in order for them to start performing where you want them to perform then this is because a smart shopping campaign utilizes both shopping ads as well as search ads if you have tr ever tried to create a smart shopping campaign you know that right after you set up the basic settings on the first page right on the second page it asks you to insert any types of images that are ideal for your brand a specific headline a description for your brand and so forth those are search ads which your smart shopping campaign utilizes as well and those smart search ads actually act as branded search ads so it's kind of an addition to the branded search campaign you set up but because of the automation you really need to make sure that your ad account number one has data number two the right kinds of settings when it comes to smart campaigns as a whole but once you have all of those things then you need to have the right strategies when it comes to the smart campaigns meaning the right to row ads, the right kinds of products because if you just end up putting all of your products within the smart shopping campaign campaigns it is not really going to be the right way to go and you're going to really have minimal results when it comes to smart shopping campaigns but again if you want to achieve the kinds of results i just showed you where it's 20x ROAS, 19x ROAS, 5x ROAS, and that too consistently you will need to make sure again you're following the strategies which i'm not really going to go over in this video because this video is all about exactly why you should be utilizing more smart shopping campaigns based on the data, but also you need to supply the right kind of data to the smart campaign in order for it to work. But that is pretty much it for this video. Again, if you're at that level where you can have somebody else handle your Google ads for you, preferably 30K or more per month, go ahead and go onto my website at yoromarketing.com to book a call with my team. Alternatively, if you want to run your ads by yourself, you can get my Google Ads Mastery course at gadsmastery.com. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.